before showing how to obtain plateau pressures with various modes, I'm going to just provide an overview of the screen, the ventilator screen if you're unfamiliar with it, this model, the G5. So just follow my cursor. Here's my cursor. And what we see, this screen's kind of broken down into sections. So over here are all measured values. These are my diagnostic waveforms. And we're going to specifically look at this pressure waveform in yellow. And as you notice, the screen is frozen. And we'll look at this control arrow. It's used with the control knob to scroll over and actually measure the pressure. So as you can see from this example, the plateau pressure is 20. And the peak pressure is 24. So you see that measurement of 20.7, that's the actual measured value based on where the cursor is placed on the waveform itself. Over here are ventilator controls, and whatever control is not easily accessed, it's going to be under this control tab right here. So I'm going to use this for the demonstration too to open up the controls. One other thing is, is the mode of ventilation, and this tells me what mode I'm currently in and for what patient category. So this mode is um, pressure control mode. And these tabs down here are access tabs. And for the examples, I'm going to use this monitoring tab to look at additional monitoring values and also tools to find out where we can do the plateau pressurement, pressure measurement. So this is just an overview of the screen. To obtain a plateau pressure during volume control, we can set a pause. I'm going to go under monitoring tab, and you notice under plateau, it's dashed out, so there's not a measured value. So what I need to do is create a, a pause. So I'm going to select pause, and I'm just going to set a 10% pause. And if you look at the pressure waveform, it's creating the plateau pressure. Now we can go back to my measured values and we'll see a plateau pressure of 15 centimeters of water. So that's the easiest way to do it in volume control ventilation. However, setting a pause can be uncomfortable, so we'll just turn it off. Another way is to use, a lot of newer ventilators have tools to do this. So I'm going to select my Tools tab, and I'm going to do an inspiratory hold. So I'm going to do an inspiratory hold for a few seconds to create the plateau and then I'm going to use the control knob to scroll back over and view what my measured value is. And you can see my plateau is approximately 14 and my peak is 18. So that's how I do it with volume control ventilation. Obtaining a plateau pressure and pressure control ventilation so let's look at monitoring first and look at our measured values, which are misleading in pressure control. As you can see, the peak pressure is 17 and the plateau is 17. I know this is false because my flow, inspiratory flow is not returning a baseline. So I'm going to do an inspiratory hold maneuver. And we're going to do it for a couple seconds and I'll trace over. And you can see actually my plateau pressure is quite below my peak inspiratory pressure. So different values. So they are not equal, which is a common fallacy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to in lengthen my inspiratory time so my inspiratory flow decreases to baseline. So we look at my purple waveform. It's almost going all the way to baseline. Once the baseline is pretty much a no-flow state, I'm going to increase a little more and look at my waveform. And we look at my, our monitored values again. And as you notice, peak of 19, plateau of 19, However, it probably isn't. I'm going to do the inspiratory hold maneuver again and see the values because we're not fully decelerating yet, the waveform. So I'm going to do the inspiratory hold. So I'm going to select tools, inspiratory hold. Stop it. It's going to freeze the screen. I'm going to scroll over and it's, you know, almost 19 and it's 18. So it's still a little under. And then I'm going to give it one more time. I'm going to increase my inspiratory time. So my inspiratory flow is fully decelerating. And now my plateau and peak pressure should be equal. And I'm just going to do the maneuver one more time. And 
Well, let's lengthen it out a little more where it's fully decelerating. Looks like based on waveforms, I'm fully decelerating now. My peak and plateau should be equal. You can also obtain a plateau pressure during adaptive pressure control ventilation, otherwise known as PRVC or auto flow. So I'm going to look at my monitoring tab and you see my peak is 19, my plateau is 19. However, this is false. This is a pressure control based mode. And if we look at my waveform, my flow waveform in purple, it's not fully decelerating. So they shouldn't be equal. So I'm going to do an inspiratory hold to show this difference. I'm going to do the maneuver. It creates an inspiratory hold. I'm going to trace over with the cursor and actually see my measured value of 15. So my plateau is 15, quite different than the 19 or 20 centimeters of water versus my peak airway pressure. So this is the same thing as pressure controls. Since adaptive pressure controls, a pressure control mode, I'm going to increase my inspiratory time. And this allows for a longer inspiratory time. And the inspiratory flow is allowed to decelerate more more towards baseline if we look at our flow waveform. I'm going to do the maneuver again and as you can see I'm going to trace back and now it's 21 and my peak is 23 so they're very close to each other now. We're almost that no flow state where my peak and plateau will be pretty much equal. I'm just going to lengthen out a little more change my inspiratory time and it's not fully decelerating yet my waveform so I still might have a difference or I should have a difference. And I'm going to increase it a little more. I'm going to try to get to that fully decelerating state where my inspiratory flow returns to baseline. And looking at my waveform, I'm pretty much there. So I'm going to do the inspiratory hold maneuver again. And let's check out the plateau versus the peak pressures, which they should be pretty much equal at this state. 